We arrived here to set up this trailer for a bed bug extermination job using heat about 15 minutes ago. One technician is inside the building preparing the building for the heat treatment and we're going to set up just one of the two heat systems. We've taken off the cover and we're installing the 14 inch return duct hose. We've already set the 14 inch supply up on the other side of the trailer and the one technician has brought two 115 volt cords from inside the building to the trailer. We're stepping inside now. There's a 100 gallon onboard fuel tank. There's all the equipment that's necessary for proper maintenance of the uh, heating equipment. In the storage compartment we have 300 feet of supply and return duct neatly stored away. Now we're coming over to the control center. Very simple. First we have a box which has fuses so that if the power is excessive we don't damage any of the controls coming in to the unit. There are two systems, system one and two, as you can see. The third switch controls the light. There's a little storage for your 115 volt cords. They exit the trailer through a nifty little porthole. Now we're going to plug system one in. You immediately hear the system start. And the power comes on. The, duct, the supply and return ducts have been introduced into the building so air is circulating through the building now and we're going to turn system one on. What it's recording right now is the temperature inside of the system allowing for the fact that the system has been stored outside. The outdoor temperature is about 40 degrees here today. You probably heard the system start up. So we're inside the trailer. This is as loud as it's going to get. temperature sensor you'll notice is slowly rising we've set a maximum temperature on that return duct of 125 degrees
as we scan around the trailer there are two rear doors for easy maintenance of the equipment and what you see here is an insulated flue pipe which is taking the combustion gases and removing them to the outside. This is an indirect fired system so we are introducing heat without adding any moisture or more importantly we're not adding any carbon monoxide to the air inside the building. The temperature is rapidly rising and we've set the maximum at 125 degrees now that maximum is adjustable depending upon the conditions either higher or lower but in this particular case we've set it our desired temperature at 125 degrees